welcome back to Halloween and Christmas with TDU. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. So, today I want to be showing you my brand new Jemmy Life Size Barbecuing Homer. You can see behind me here, obviously. So I got him off of Gumtree, which is basically the Australian Craigslist. Craigslist exists here, it's pretty shitty. No one sells anything like in America. I see you guys getting all this Jemmy Life Size and stuff of it. Really, the only thing on the one in Australia is like jobs and apartments for sale and stuff. You know, nothing interesting to me. So anyway, I bought him for a hundred and twenty-five dollars, and it came to about a hundred and sixty dollars shipped because it came from interstate, and it didn't move at all. It the sound he said the speaker worked the seller, and but the belts were snapped and it didn't work. So this is my first um, restoration on a Jemmy life size. Um, so um, I'm very happy that I finally got it to work. Um, you know, it was a little frustrating sometimes, you know, trying to fit the belt onto the little things, the gears and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, after a while, I did finally get it fixed. Now, he does come with everything except for the um, the apron and the oven mitt. So that's a bit annoying that it doesn't come with that, but not a big deal. Anyway. I'll stop talking now and we let's get on to me unboxing him and fixing him for you. So, as you can see, I have fixed it and, well, I've opened it up, set it all up, let's see how it works. So, I had to replace the rubber belts, and at this point, I'm just using some stretchy loom bands, but eventually, I am I did go and buy some proper ones, so I have actually restored it with proper rubber belts, proper O-rings, instead of just craft rubber bands. Oh, I'm famous for my motivational skills. Everyone always says they have to work a lot harder when I'm around. So what just happened then was the spatula actually came out of the hand and it, when that fell it shook the um, homer and the loom band I was using to, to test the mechanisms snapped out of place. So unfortunately... I did have to wait a few days, but I did finally get some proper O-rings, as I mentioned previously. So now he is all set up with the new O-rings, and he is working fine. Let's show you him. Come on, so TV, I got him give all set up. Sweet, sweet perp. I set up a fix. Oh, oh. Ah. So as you see, I put no. new um. Is belt. there it's anything a, they can't a, a do? Sorted O-ring kit that my dad got me. I think he got it at Bunnings, but I'm not sure. <laughs> It's a bit loud, but that's fine, so I don't think. 
So yeah, now I'm just going to reattach the framework and then put all the arms and heads and stuff back on. So yeah. All right, so I finally fixed him. So here he is. Now, before I show you it, I'll just explain to you really the backstory of it. Um, so, well, not the backstory, but like when I got this ship to me, it was horrible. You know, it didn't dance, as I mentioned. Um, yeah, it didn't dance. Speakers worked. Um, it was covered in dust, very dusty. Obviously, it didn't come with the um, apron and oven mitt, which isn't a big problem. I'm sure I can find something to work for it. Um, back of the hat does have a few little holes in it, rips and stuff. You know, it doesn't bother me, you can't see it. Um, would be nice if it didn't have that on, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then, once the adapter they sent it with, it was a, a 12 volt adapter. So, I'm very lucky it didn't fry. I am currently using the adapter that came with the um, Santa Homer in there. You can see that. And, um, yeah. And, yeah, so... Well, really, I don't have much more to say about it. It now works very nicely. Um, there's a bit of a mechanical buzzing sort of sound, but obviously I can't do much about that. You know, it's an old item. So, yeah, let me show you how it works. Feeling stupid? I know I am. And this isn't full volume, by the way. I said a hip hop, the hippie, the hippie do the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie. They up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie the beat. Now and what that, you no, hear no, is not a set. I'm a rap in the beat. Inside there, one of the prongs of bolts inside. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try on. to move so your feet. See I. Wonder Homer and I'd like to say hello to the black, to the white, the red and the brown, the purple and yellow. But first I gotta bang bang the boogie to the boogie, stay up jump the boogie to the bang bang boogie. Let's rock! You don't stop, but the riddle that will make your body rock. Yeah, the next Come one. on, TV, give me some of that sweet, sweet pep. Woohoo! No! Nuts. Is there anything they can't do? Everybody, get on the floor. Let's dance. Don't fight. Don't be like, give yourself a dance. So, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. I now have both the last of homes, which is great. Um, I have two of the last of the dancing and the last of the I really do want to complete the Jeremy Simpsons collection. So from the top of my head, these are the ones I saw it. I need the purple, the Homer and the purple, it's like wrapping. I need the one in the blue, like suit jacket kind of thing. Um, I need the caroling Mr. Burns with the lantern, he's um, dressed as Scrooge, and um, caroling Bart. Now I know those last two are quite rare, so I don't know, I'll, I'll happily spend a bit of money on them. I do really want them. Um, you know, it's not just for my Jeremy collection, but also for my Christmas display, because I do a massive one in my room. Um, like this whole shelves, I take all the horror stuff off, and including Dooley Bass, will be taken down. Um, I chuck that all away in storage somewhere, and then I get literally uh, this whole shelf is like a little uh, little Christmas village. I have, you know, heaps of you know bits and pieces up along the top. Like all the horror stuff comes down at Christmas. Sam is over there. Um, yeah, I hang lights from up there. So, it would be nice to have a heap of a few more like Christmas themed homes. Oh, and I also need the um. Dancing Santa Homer, which is like the other ones I have, and the one that swings the bells around. I only found out they existed the other day, but they're really cool. Oh, and the one where he's stuck in the chimney. Yeah, so I'm not, 
I've got both the life sizes, so that's one thing I can say. But I still need to get a few of the tabletop ones. Yeah, so these are just now some photos that I took while setting it up and just, yeah, some photos I've taken of it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy these few photos I've added in the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, I did recently get a very rare variant of the Jemmy Santa. Um, yeah, you'll probably recognise it as soon as I post a video. But the head mechanism is actually the part that holds the head and neck together is um, shattered, the little disc at the bottom of the headpiece. So I need to find something to replace that. And I'll probably I'll make a video on restoring it. And, yeah, hopefully I'll have that up very soon. Um, it's very busy at the moment for me. I've got lots of stuff to do with school. And I've also got some other animatronics I need to... Start making for Halloween props, make some props. I've got a few ideas I want to do for Halloween. So, yeah, as soon as I get around to it, I will be making a video. Also, sorry it's been a while since the last video. I, did, I didn't get, like, I've been very busy, as I said, so I haven't had time to actually edit this video and put it all together for you. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Bye.